hey welcome back guys so what we did the in the last video was we created a faker to generate some fake data and our data looks like this so let's move to the admin panel and here we have some data but the problem happened was that uh, the faker library uh, did something unexpected and we have to uh, we had to replace this age with the phone number and something you know weird is coming in the age field but that is okay you don't have to you know use this data in the real world this is just uh, for demonstration that how can we use the faker library to generate some fake data and for uh, i guess for text purpose we can use it for but for like uh, integer field we don't uh, need to use it because this is making some weird data so uh, we are not concerned about data right now we we have we want to have some data so that uh, uh, we can test like we can uh, test this data on a view so in this video we will talk about the same what we will do we will uh, implement the model template view so what it is so basically we know how to make models we know how to use template and we also know how to implement that particular template to let's uh, how to connect with that uh, template with the view so uh, what we will do in this video we will use this data whatever fake data we have generated either it is uh, of the use or not that doesn't matter so we will use this data to display on the html page so right now if we look our index so how it looks so this looks like uh, you know this is not uh, anything so let's use uh, the uh, let's use the python let's use the django let's use the html and let's make something out of it so let's go back to pycharm and here in view what we have we have this my context data and which is welcome to my first tab so let's replace this data so let's see if we want to access the students so let's say i will get the students by student model so i will import this model student dot objects dot all okay so let's import it first so we can say student dot objects dot all okay it will give us the students okay we don't have to do anything now in this data we will pass the students okay so uh, this students is basically a list of students if we look at to this and let's press command p oh so this, it just gave me the uh let's go it's go to its definition if we can go implementation so there is no nothing uh here so what we can do we can print this students and we can check what kind of data it is returning oh we don't have to use semicolon here so um, basically it is returning as a list of students because this all uh, students dot objects dot all gives us a list of student so we are using this students as a data and passing this my context into our index dot html so now what we can do so let's go to index dot html and it is an index page so let's name it as students okay and the style would be the same but let's go to this style okay what i did let's go to the style and do some changes so let's go to a static and let's remove this this is what we are going to do okay so now here we are uh, showing the data let's uh, make a form here or we don't need to make a form let's say a header which says student record okay here uh, let's see let uh, let's use the template tags uh, where is the yeah so we will say if we have uh, the students okay okay so if students these students are we getting it no if we have the data okay so we have named it as uh, data let's change it to a uh, much better meaningful name so let's say it students data okay so that we can you know give it a proper name so that we can uh, anybody can read this code so here we will say if students data so what it will check it will check if we have the student data or not if it has we will do something else 
we will also make else block else we will say here h2 let's say and we will say no record found okay and here we can close this if and if okay now let's just uh, what we can do okay uh, what we can also do here is we can move this code a little bit so that it can be easily readable so here we have this code and what we are doing we have a header students record and we are checking if the student has some data then do something otherwise no record found okay no records found okay in this if uh, section what we will do we will display a table so let's say we have a table okay in this table we can have uh, let's say we what we can have a t head okay t head can have let's say a student name okay and another t head can have uh, t head student what information we have of a student we have his name and his school so let's say it is his school okay so we have this table now uh, we can also generate uh, let's say we can have multiple rows for it right so let's use a for loop here by using this template tags so let's say for students for uh, what it should work right it is not working properly i don't know why but it should have worked so let's say um why my keyboard is not working okay so let's say for uh, a student a student oh sorry spelling is wrong a student in a students data okay what we can do here and what we did here oh, oh sorry here we did something wrong like we can have this this should be a th tag not t hat tag okay and it should also be a th tag not t hat and this these uh, th tags will come inside this t hat tag we are making basically the head portion here for the table so if you are unaware of this then you should watch my uh, html tutorials and uh, this is fine i guess this is fine but uh, this is saying element is not allowed here so let's leave it so here in the for loop what we will uh, do we will generate some rows and these rows will have two data or uh, table data one will be the student data dot name oh sorry student dot name okay and another row oh sorry another data table data will have the student school okay so what we are doing here and uh, after that we can close this for loop right uh, and for okay so what we are doing here so this this is the basically the template text which we use uh, uh, for python to uh, use the uh, python code in django or uh, in the html so that is how we use it so let's save it once again so what we are doing again we have this header students record students record then we have a if statement this is how we define a state uh, if statement in html using django is by using this string or uh, this template text and here we have a table in which we have a table head which is saying a student name and a student school okay and now we have a for loop this is how we declare a for loop in python in html so uh, this is our table row and this is how we are going to print it okay so let's refresh our page and let's see what comes 
and here you can see so let's go to my style again and it should have worked right so it is i guess it is uh, using the cache here that is why uh, we have this background otherwise there should not be any background so we have the student record we have a student name we have a student school and you can see the name of the school and name of the students here so this is how we can use model template view and let's just uh, open it in a incognito mode so that we could understand whether this is happening because of uh, the caching or something else so here when i uh, enter this then you can say you can see the css styling is gone because we have refreshed it and uh, in another another window this is using the cached version so that is why we have this background otherwise we don't have the background technically right now so this is how what we what we did here uh, we define all the students in a uh, hash map or you can say uh, the dictionary and uh, we pass this data to the html and here we use the template text to uh, using the for loop and if uh, if statement so this is how we we can implement the model template view so thank you guys for watching this video and please like the video if you enjoyed the content and also subscribe my channel thank you so much bye bye